What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back. And guys, we got another video for you today. It is the aftermath of the market inflation today. It's not the crash because the market didn't crash. So this is a this is a series where I pretty much just tell you how much stubs I made after Friday, what happened with the market, all that good stuff. And then this one, guys, I made well over 50k stubs easily off five cards. And we're gonna get into it. But guys, before I drop, before I say anything, you know what to do. Let's get this video to 100 likes. I'm that confident, bro. We got our last video at 80 likes. Let's get this one to 100. Let's hit our first 100 like marker. Let's do it. Guys, this series has been unbelievable. I've been averaging 50 plus likes in the series. If we hit 100 likes, we will drop. We will give a random guy in the comments 10K. That's all you got to do. Like and comment in the video. Comment anything. 10K, whatever you want to do. And I will give another sub a random 10k likes, guys. So let's get into it. I will announce a giveaway winner in the comments. Someone won. I have to still randomize it. I'm going to do it in the comments after this video. I don't know who won yet. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the videos. And let's get into it. After this video, we're also going to have a second video. And it's going to be on the, be the top 10 players to invest in right now. And yeah, that video is going to be awesome too. We'll be giving away 10k in that video as well. So stay tuned for that video as well. And also... If you guys like the green screen, let me know. I'm fixing up the green screen right now. I had to order another stand because my other stand was trash. I had to get another one. So if you guys like the green screen more, let me know. If you guys like the face cam overlay more, let me know as well. But yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to start with Christian Yelich, man. This guy went up 20K since last week. No, 30K since last week. I sold him yesterday for 68999 Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Christian Yelich. I sold him for $68,999. You know what I got him for last week? I can't show you because it's so deep in my completed transactions. Last week, he was down to 45 k If you go to like one of my videos last week, you'll hear some of my subs talk about him being really cheap. I got him for 45 k and he's down 68.9. I made 18 k stubs. Let's just say I made 20. Let's say I made 20 k off the Yelich alone. Off Baez. Last week, I told everybody to pick him up at 33 k I picked up two of them. Guys, I picked up two biases, bro. He is 44K. I sold him for 45K yesterday. I made 10K off each of them. No, let's just say 8K off each of them. 8 times 2, 16K. Let's just say I made about 35K stubs between three cards, Yelich and Baez. Oh, okay, guys. You want to see what else we did? So on... For what is it? Friday, they dropped the stub sale, right? Everybody went up in price, market inflation, whatever. So I saw Chris Bryant's edge was down. I was like, okay, Chris Bryant's edge is down. He's 18K right now. I was like, Chris Bryant is 18K. There's no freaking way. So I bought three of them for 18K. I sold them for 28K. Let me see why I sold them. 28K. Here it is. Chris Bryant for 28K. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this crap. We made 27k, 29k. This is crazy. And I also got my Reggie Jackson made tons of stubs off that for the third in collection. So right now, we're about 30 All right, let's say we made another 8k off three Chris Bryant's, 8 times 3, 24k, 24k plus the 35k stubs, 45k. It's uh 49k. Let's just say we made 50k so far, guys. We made 50k of what? Five cards? So think about that. If you guys listen to your boy Bugs, you'd be lit right now. Also, I picked up Chris Sale for 28k buy now. I sold him for 50,999. That's another 20k stubs made. That is, let's just say we're at 70k stubs made. Just think about that for one second. Realistically, let's just say we're at 65k stubs made of six cards. Holy crap, I don't know what to say. 65k stubs off the freaking six cards, seven cards. That's insane. Let's keep going though. Okay, I just don't know what to say, man. We made so many stubs and it's insane. Uh, let's go to, let's see, let's check investments right now. Let's see what I made off investments. I don't know if I made that many much money off. Trevor Bauer is so cheap, guys. If you're watching this, go pick him up. I'm trying to think of what other cards I picked up. I'm going to go check my um, my squad real quick. And guys, if you don't believe me, I just showed you my complete auctions. Like, I don't care if you don't believe me or whatever, but yeah. So, all right, let's look at Okuna. I'm pretty sure we can make a bunch of stubs off Okuna. 
right now i'm pretty sure i mean i got six for about 4k on friday right before the market update yes so 4k we have six we got six of them for 4k we'll make 1500 of each let's just say we get another 5k stubs guys we're at 70k stubs made 70k stubs made just think about that for one second 70k stubs made if you guys just listen to me you'll make stubs and also in my last video vladimir guerrero i wish i kept this card because i did not know he was gonna go up this much if you guys had this card i got him for 90k and i sold him for 120 i made 20k off him if i kept this card he was at 170k about on friday which is not normal 170k for a 95 is insane it's literally crazy one of the most expensive cards in the game besides the new players so that was lit if you had them let's just go over some more players okay also i'm gonna go over mickey vlad and, and uh verla uh who was the other guy bad bum so what happened was when the market inflated they actually went down a little bit but now if you didn't get the third inning collection done they're up double when I got Miggy, Vlad, and all of them, honestly, I just wanted to do for the third inning collection because I wanted to get the Ricky Henderson or whatever. But right now, if you don't want to do a third inning collection, this is not to the time to buy. They're literally all at 50k and above. You're going to spend 150k on the collection. At this point, it's really not worth it. It's just super, it's just not worth it. So that's just not good. I wish I kept them. I could have made 20k stubs on each of them. But I didn't in that case. I did the third inning collection. If you have them and you didn't do the third inning collection, I will go ahead and sell them. Also, we got Max Scherzer. I did the Nats collection to get Daniel Murphy. But yeah, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what other cards I got and what other cards I picked up. Okay, Nolan Ryan. I got him for 10K on Thursday. He's at 14K. Another 3K stubs made off him. Let's see. Uh, Fernando Rodney. I pulled him. I'm trying to think of what other cards we picked up. I made mad tops off Reggie Jackson before he went down. I got him. I sold him for 60K. He's at 11. Whoever has this card and did the third inning collection of 200 stars, I would sell him. Go ahead and sell him right away. Let's see. So we made over 70K stubs already. We got... We pulled Kershaw. Yo, my pack opening was insane. If you didn't watch it, I would go ahead and watch that, man. Uh, Josh Hader. Okay, another guy that I would make 10K stubs off. This guy, I got him last week for 18,000 coins. He is 30k stubs. Right there. I'm going to make over 80,000 stubs off this video. One, just if you listen to me during the inflation, I gave a bunch of my subs tips and what to do. Like, they're asking a bunch of questions. If you, like, went on the comments and checked what I said and stuff, you will make 80. I made 80k stubs. I, I proved it to you. It's in my completed auctions. It's insane, guys. We got, let's see. Anthony Rendon for 16k. He went up. He was about 10k. If you picked up a bunch of him, you made a bunch of stubs. Um, Brian McCann is the same price. Edwin Diaz went up. Bryce Harper went up. If I would have give, if I would have bought Bryce Harper for 28k last week, I would have made another six 6k stubs, 5k stubs. Edwin Diaz was 22k, 20k last week. He's at 29. You would have made another 6k stubs off Diaz. It just keeps going. If you had Freddie Freeman, I made a bunch of stubs off him last week. If you have Freeman right now, he's at 40k. I would go ahead and sell him. He's way too expensive. Javier Baez, I made a ton of stubs off, but I'm pretty sure we already mentioned him. Uh, let's keep going. Andrew Miller, if you have him as well, I would go ahead and sell him. He's way, way, way too expensive. Goldschmidt's expensive. All these cards went up a shit ton, bro. Like, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say, bro. Let's keep going, though. We got Blake Snell, 10. Aldridson, 6. Also, Justin Turner went up a crap ton. He had like a, th what, three homer game the other day? And he's at 19k. I would go ahead and sell him. I don't see him getting upgraded. And also, if you had Gold Springer. Oh, another guy I made stubs off. I bought three George Springers for 3k. I have another one. I'm going to make, if I sell him for 12, let's say I make 8k stubs off each, 8 times 3. I'm going to make over 100 Hey, stubs off this one. I'll <laughs> just think about that. Your boy Boggs made over a hundred K stubs on the aftermath, bro. This is the best one yet. The market inflation treated me well with investment wise, diamond investment wise. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Let's get this one to 100 likes. It sounds crazy, but I believe, yo. All you have to do is smash the like button. You have a chance of winning 10K. The way we've been rocking right now, I think we could do it. We hit 80 likes yesterday. Thank you to all. If we hit 100 likes, maybe I'll do 20K. But honestly, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Stay tuned for more. Your boy Bugs is cooking up. And honestly, let's hit 700 subs this week. I honestly, I think it's easy. At this rate, we're at 640 already. Let's hit 700 subs. Thank you to all my supporters. And guys, that's all I got for you today. Just kidding. We got another one. And guys, peace.